Okay, so we are on uh, page 37 of this credit. I'm going to let you read the explain to a section on your own. And um, just follow along with me on, on these questions as I explain them. And if you want to pause the video and, and look back at the um, and read the explain section before to make sense of what I'm doing, you can, uh, feel free to do that. Um, but we're going to follow pretty much the same steps. So uh, let's go with question number one. We're going to start here. We're going to plot these points first of all. Uh, let's use a different color than red. Let's use this green. And so um, we're going to start with these first two points. Um, and we're going to plot all uh, ten of these points here. So when the shoe size is five, we're told the mass of the person is 65. So about right here. And we're just eyeballing this. You don't need to be completely exact. Um, when the shoe size is 12, we're, the mass of the person is at 97, so almost at 100 right there. When the mass is 7, we're at 68, so not quite the 70 there. Something like that. The mass is 10, we're at 92, so a little bit above the 90. The mass is 10, we're at 78, so not quite at the 80. 9, 78 is the same. 876 is almost to the 80, but not quite. Well, that's a little too high, I think. Sorry. I mean, because the next point was 78, so that's 76. 1188, uh, not quite the 890. Uh, 674. And again, I'm getting these points up at the table up on top, so uh, I know this must be mind numbingly boring just listening to this. But if you want to go ahead and try that um, along with me, this is what your graph should kind of look like. Let's go ahead and graph those points. Let's use a nice pink. Um, and the line of best fit is a line that's going to go basically as close to as many of those points as possible. Okay, so um, this need to be perfect. But you want to have, you want to kind of eyeball it and make sure um, an equal number of points are on either side of the line. So let me see what to do for five, what to do for five. This is, I think that's as good as, it, as we're going to get for now. So I'm okay with that line. So something like that, your answer may vary from mine, but um, this is what uh, it basically should look like. A line that's trending upwards with a positive slope. So let's jump forward to question number two, which we're, we're going to do the same thing. Let's use the same colors here. Um, this is this one is about game football games and attendance. So we're taking data. They've taken data for the first seven football games of the season. The first game had 222 people on it. I'm going to zoom in so you won't be able to see it on the screen, but it'll be on that page with you. I'm just looking at the table right above this. So game one, we're at 222. Um, maybe somewhere around here. Right. Again, no need to be perfect. We're just eyeballing this. Um, second game, 285. So almost at 300. At three, we're at 399, so almost 400, but not quite 400. Game four was 641, so about there. Five, we're at 529. So game five, we're at 529, maybe about right there. And game six, we're at 952, uh, right there, about halfway between 900 and 1000. Game seven, we're at 1171, 1171, so kind of about right there. That's good enough for me. Uh, and then let's draw that line again, that line of best fit. And again, we want to get as many points on either side of the line as possible. So um, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Um, you know, this is as good as we're going to get. So again, it doesn't need to be perfect. Something like that uh, should be good. Okay, so we're going to jump ahead to question number, or sorry, page number 39. I will let you read the explain to B part as well. But the only difference here is that we're going to um, now determine the slope of that line of best fit. And we're going to use what we learned before, the slope formula, to, to figure that out. So uh, in question number three, we're told uh, the context that Kimberly plants a tree sapling in her yard and measures its height, in, its height every year. And she made a table of those heights. So we're going to make a scatter plot, um, create the line of best fit, and uh, find that equation of the line of best fit. So the steps are broken down for us. Let's go take a look at step one, graph the data in the table. So what table? This table. So we're going to start with 0 and 2.1. So uh, when at year 0, the, the, the tree height was at 2.1, so about right there. At year 1, we're at 4.3. At year two, we were at about five, so halfway between the four and the six there. At year three, we're at 7.3, so somewhere about right there. At year four, we're at 8.1. At 
at year 5 we're at 10.2 so somewhere right like that like that and then let's make a line of best fit um, I'm gonna go with something kind of like this right so this is good as I, I think we're gonna get for now and then we're gonna write the equation of the line and they say choose any two points on the line and, and and your answer might be different from mine depending on which points you pick, right? And I generally like to pick points that are on the line. Um, uh, so, for example, this one is not on the line. This one is not quite on the line. But this one is, and, and that last one is. And I could certainly pick that middle one as well. But I think I'm going to go with this point right here. And, and this the first and last point um, uh, as, my, uh, as the points I'm going to pick. But feel free to pick whichever two points on the line that you would like to do. But I am going to go for 0, 2.1, 2.1, let's make that point a little bigger, otherwise it looks like a 21. And then the last point, which is 5 and 10.2. So x1 is 0, y1 is 2.1, oh, x2 is 5, y2 is 10.2, it doesn't look like a 2, 2. And we're going to use the slope formula right there uh, that we've used before in this credit. So let's, let's go ahead and calculate the slope. So y2 is 10.2, y1 is 2.1, and we're going to put that all, all of that over x2, which is 5 minus uh, 0. And if we do that, we get 8.1 over 5. And my calculator tells me that 8.1 divided by 5 is 1.62. So our slope is 1.62. So let's use the slope-intercept form here, y equals mx plus b, to figure out to answer this next question we know what the slope is now y equals 1.62 x plus b and then we're going to plug in one of the points i'm going to go with the one with a zero i'm going to go with this first point here just because i like multiplying by zero um, and if you haven't realized why this is why 2.1 is the y 1.62 times zero as the x and i like multiplying by zero because that gets rid of that and look at that i didn't really have to do much work at all and now I have the y-intercept 2.1 equals b. I'm going to plug that back in here. Uh, and that's going to be what y equals 1.62x plus 2.1. Uh, and this happens to be the answer they want here. And again, ba uh, depending on which two points you pick, your answer may look different from mine. So check with your teacher and make sure um, your answer uh, falls within, or at least the work is correct. But this is basically how you would um, use a line of best fit to figure out um, what kind of um, equa or slope intercept form equation you should have for a given context. Okay, we are on page 41, where this is a continuation of um, the previous pages here. But now we're going to use our data to um, kind of solve problems and, and maybe even make some predictions. Okay, so. Question number four, we're using, uh, we have much data here, uh, and the context is that the, di the boiling point of water as it is lower at higher elevations because of the lower atmospheric pressure. So they give us a bunch of data, and then um, to make a long story short, what they want is um, what is the boiling point of, or the boiling point of water at Santa Fe, New Mexico, which is at 71, um, uh, 7,000 feet, 7,199 feet and Osaka, Japan, which is at uh, 12 feet. So based on the data, they've done a lot of the work for us, right? They, they've taken all these points here, and they've graphed it over there, and um, we have to be able to calculate, or they even give us the equation down here, right? And we're gonna take the, the question here, they wanna know what is the boiling point at 7,199 feet and at 12 feet? And you can actually use the graph to make some predictions, right? 12 feet, um, right, 12 feet is all right, if that's a thousand, twelve feet is really close to that zero. So I'm gonna. If we have to make an estimation, we can kind of say that um, it's probably gonna be approximately 211 degrees at Osaka, Japan, or the boiling point of water will be at 211 degrees 
uh, in Osaka, Japan, and for New Mexico, which is at 7,199 feet, which is pretty much over here, it's going to be uh, a little bit less than 200, right? So I would say something less than 200, I would, let's say 199, for example. Um, so those are good estimates based on the graph, but again, those are estimates. How do we find the exact, um, exact uh, temperature or the exact... Uh, values using the equation. Well, um, in step one, we're going to evaluate the equation line of best fit at the desired input values, which means we're going to check these out for 7,199 when, uh, uh, when x equals 7,199, that is, and when x equals 12. All right, this one is the one for Santa Fe, New Mexico. This one is the altitude at Osaka, Japan. So um, all we really have to do is, is kind of kind of plug those in so let, let's go ahead and do it let's try um, Santa Fe here and then um, let's make uh, Osaka green here Osaka uh, going back to the Santa Fe we're gonna use this e y equals negative 0 0.00167 times uh, Santa Fe is at 7199 feet plus 211 um, and if we go ahead and calculate that, go ahead and punch that into the calculator, which I'm going to do right now. 00167 uh, times 7199 plus 211. And I get something like uh, 198.98. So something like that. Yeah. So Santa Fe um, is going to be at approximately 198. 0.98 degrees. We can effectively call that 199 degrees. And then for um, Osaka, Japan, let me change the color here. And we're going to do the same thing, right? Y equals uh, that equation there, 0 0.00167 times 12 plus 211. So let's punch that into the calculator. 0 0.0167 times 12 plus 211. And we get something like 211.02 degrees so effectively 211 degrees which happens to be our two um, uh, two estimates right 211 degrees and 199 degrees right so um, we have to interpret the result well let's write this uh, write this out in English um, Santa Fe New Mexico Santa Fe um, or let's, let's, let's write this out in full sentences, actually. The math teacher in me wants to see uh, full sentences. The boiling point of water, Santa Fe, is uh, 199 degrees, 199 degrees at... 7,199 feet and the boiling point of water in Osaka is 211 degrees at 12 feet above sea level that is but we'll, we'll write that